Hey guys, Pittsburgh Piggy 66 here for another Disney Infinity Review. Jake's the cameraman. Hi. And Awesome Big here will comment on some things. Hi. I brought Awesome Big because I wanted to show you my love for pigs and most I love Disney Infinity. And today I'm just going to show you all the figurines that I am. First we have James P. Sullivan, or just Sully for short. Um, his B is a normal scare, like all monsters should do. Um, he's a, um, he, the movies that he was present in are Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University. And sorry, sometimes my nunchuck does that. That's what about the way you don't like, nunchucks. And his Z is a char, a shoulder ram. See? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And he's level 5 for me right now. And also his AB, ground pound, is just a jump scare. <laughs> jump scare. Huh. <laughs> I'm getting the mood of Five Nights at Freddy's here, which is an awesome game, but I never played it. Okay, enough about that. This jump scare. Powerful. There's a bad guy or something. And, well, that's really his attack, but then I haven't completed the Monsters University thing, but he does still have tools. You get a toilet paper launcher. Toilet paper launcher. Not the best at it though, I can aim though. Ah, uh, get over there maybe. Well, you can also get a paintball gun. Which will paintball, and paintball guns will be used in the next video next Wednesday. Shoots that. See, subtly sorry. And now it's time for Awesome Fake's comments. I think the weapons that you get when you get do some stuff in a stage are very really cool. And I think play, him playing himself is very, you get, he's just very powerful. Yes, Awesome Fake, that is very true. Okay, and that's all for Sullivan. Sorry, is that glider on him? I need to change it back. Okay. Okay. Next up, next character will be Mr. Incredible, same as Sully. Sully, he was in the Star Pack. And he is in the Incredibles movie. Yay! He's pretty cool. One of my favorites of all time. And his B is a awesome ground pound. It is really useful in killing people in the Mr. Incredibles, the Incredible stage. And he's level 5, just like Sully, but he has a better... A, his, he's higher and closer to 6. His... Z is pretty simple. It's just a punch. Like superhero should. If you're a superhero and you can't punch, then you're not really a superhero. Well, that's all I can say about him and Z. And his AB is a ground pound. You probably could have guessed that. Now, in the game, you get... In the, I completed the Incredibles. You can get a hoverboard, which gets you around places. You jump. Hit Z to do that. And you fly around like a boss. If you want to hit... To get off, you get B or Z. And like you can't hit when you're on it, but you can survive falls sometimes. Brown pound. And also, you get another. It's all flying things in the Incredible series, like the glide pack. You jump and glide. Well, that's really all you can say about him. Now, time for awesome things, awesome comments. Well, I think that some of his things that you can get and that he can do are very cool. Especially awesome. Is that awesome? Pick? Yes, it was awesome. Okay, so next. Next up in the characters, we have Wreck-It Ralph. You can get him just by just by buying him. You can get him by just buying him. In the store. But you know, like they say, a new adventure awaits. Yeah, I just I haven't played on him yet. So I'm gonna learn things so as B. He throws a cherry bomb. Really cool. And has that video game effect. That's really cool. I hate cherries in real life. Hate them to death. But now he can throw cherry bombs. So cool. Z is like a bunch it's like a ground pound to the ground. This guy's a beast. Woo. He just he, he really is a wreck guy. Wrecking ball. Jeez. 
Where are all the boxes? I destroyed all of them, huh? And there's some over there. I go faster when you do this. Speed here. Do I see? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Now well, that's all for Rick and Ralph. The movie he's in is really cool. Now, awesome pig. Now, time for your awesome comments. I think the two things that he can do are really awesome and cool. They're just so amazing and cool, you know. Yep. Thank you, awesome pig. Next up we have is Davy Jones. I have all the Pirates of the Caribbean characters you can get. So, Davy Jones is Jake's favorite character of all time, I believe. Right? Yep. Yeah. And so, he's level four. Now, will you join me for another trek into the unknown? Well, I probably will. And it says B is a flintlock. This is like Sparrow. You can shoot a darn flint flintlock. You can see this barrel. Let's see if I can hit. Then lock. Z is a sword. And the funny part is when he hits, he, he kicks you with his normal foot, not his um crab foot. It's fun. <laughs> he kicks you. He's in. Watch out for Davy Jones, mates. He'll kick you. I'm going to Dave Jones. I have all the Pirates of the Caribbean series movies, and they're all awesome. You should watch them. And Dave Jones, he can kick you. And I'll do the pirate-related stuff when I go to um, Sparrow. But that's all I have to say. Awesome pick. Time for your awesome comments. Well, he, he is a cool character, even though he just does some classic stuff. But I would say he's really awesome. Yes. What about his kick? Oh yes, the kick. It is a powerful kick. Watch out for that kick. And next up, we have none other than Mike. Mikey. I think I believe that's the name. He is in Monsters Inc. and Monsters University. And he is Sullivan's friend. And he's level zero. I don't play him too much. But he has an awesome cartwheel. And to do. He's a scare. He either goes on his foot or he does a megaphone. Because you know in the movie it's shown that he's not that scary. That's, that's why he's a technician anyway in the Monsters, Inc. So, yep. He's awesome, I believe. And his Z is Sam and Sullivan. A head charge. Same thing as him, the classic, but his megaphone's funny. I gotta admit. Awesome pig, time for your awesome comments. Aw, oh, poop. <laughs> well, um, I think he is a cool character, just like Sullivan, but I think he could have a better attack, but he's a, he's a really good character. Thank you, awesome pig. Next up, we have one of my all-time darn favorites. Please welcome Jack Skellington. From Nightmare Before Christmas. I love that. I'm, so, I'm, I'm happy that they actually brought him in here. The Pumpkin King. He's level 6. He's the highest level. Almost level 7. I play this guy a lot. He's the Pumpkin King, for crying out loud. What else would I play him? This B, he reminds me of Rick Ralph now. He does pumpkin bops. I think he's probably in the Green Goblin. But still, pretty cool. Am I right or am I wrong, hey people? Z... He scares the crap out of you. He's a pumpkin king and he lives in Halloween Town. Three people, or four really, can do scares. And including Randall but from Monsters University of Nick, but I don't have him, so we can't put him in this. And it's Jack. Eh, he's cool. Pumpkin bombs. Real is awesome. Awesome, mate. It's your cue. I think he's really cool. And I like the way how he when he scares us, it actually does a noise. It's cool. And he did got you. Thank you, awesome thing. Now for a last, second to last character, all pirates now. Welcome, Captain Barbosa. Hector Barbosa. He is, in my opinion, my favorite pirate besides Blackbeard. He's level four, just like my dear old friend Jones. And he, same as Jones, he has a darn flintlock. Yep, he has a flintlock. All pirates carry their good old flintlocks with them. But why wouldn't they? Then he has a sword. 
He doesn't kick. Instead, he does a slash. Also, take time for your awesome comment. I think he's cool. That's the same as Davy Jones, but I think they... I like all the... I like just... Um, his hat is cool, actually. His hat is really awesome. Yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? I don't like how the little pirates had the same attacks, really. Yeah, it could be better. But Davy Jones is kick, and he has a slash. Next up, our final competitor of the night. Welcome back. Jack Sparrow, not Jack Skellington. They're totally, totally different human beings. Jack Sparrow. Jack, Jack, Captain Jack. He's level 8. He is the highest level. Him and Jack. All the Jacks. Jacks are superior in this game. His B, guess what? It's a flintlock. Every single pirate has a flintlock. I mean, that's really nice. People, this game creators are really thinking when they gave everyone a flintlock. I still like it. And this same thing. Before he has a sword attack, and he has the um, cleave. Jones is different just because he has a kick. That's the only thing that's different. But there's one different thing about Sparrow. Now I'm going to go through all the pirate tools, which I think is so, pretty cool. First, you get a pirate bomb. A nice pirate bomb. Reminds you of the um, chair bomb. Next, we have uh, the blunderbuss, which is like a flintlock. It shoots a bigger shot. Far away. Next, we also have, well, that's it for two, and then you go to packs, and you can get a pirate atlas blade. This has the power of Kid Dama, or I forget the way they call and, and the sword attacks are different than all normal pirate swords. Pretty cool, I must say. Or awesome, as awesome people say. It's awesome. Now it's your turn to say what you think. Well, I think it's cool that they added in like an extra sword with new attack, with different attacks and every other one. That's pretty cool. And the pile bomb is cool too. What about just Jack Sparrow in general? Oh yeah, Jack. Yeah, they're both good. Both good. I believe uh, they both may have the same attacks, but they're still really cool. Wait, who has them both the same attack? All the pirates? Oh, two of them. Oh yeah. Well, that's all. That's, this is Pittsburgh P66 signing out. Awesome Pig signing out. And Ooh. Jake. Hey. Bye, guys.